Tara Jacobson, Marketing Art Flea. So today in our quest to dominate Pinterest for our e-commerce store, we're going to be looking at linking to one of your section pages. I always want to say category pages, but they're your section pages. And I am going to be looking at linking to my super cute vintage candle holder section because I like candle holders, so I tend to find a lot of them. There's ones that I really would like to move, right? Um, and so that is going to be a good way for me to make a section pin or multiple pins um, to a section of my Etsy store. I could also do vintage kitchen because I have a lot of cool vintage kitchen items. That is not a cool vintage kitchen. What? Um, nor is that. Oh, yeah, I would rather have that in desk. See, I have a cute desks accessory section, vintage office decor, so I think I would like to move that one. See, I could, could do a really cute office decor one, but I am, ooh, got some cute stuff in here. I could do one for each of them, right? Because look at that, inkwells and stuff. Let's do this one. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to look at Pinterest to get our inspiration for what our pins should look like, right? So we're going to look at Pinterest, and I did a search for gold jewelry and then elegant gold jewelry. And first off, I want you to notice that Pinterest puts these up like this, right? So like that's the very first thing they have. And if we click on that shop now, it's going to go to all kinds of e-commerce ones, right? So if Pinterest is using the most valuable piece of real estate they have to do a multiple, multiple kinds of ones, this is not where we take one picture and we show different pieces of it. This is where we're showing them a variety of different things that they could look at on Pinterest and possibly save for later and then click through and buy our products, right? So let's look, keep looking. Oh, here we go. There's three different um, bracelets. People are doing it with by putting three rings on their fingers, which is fine. Here is showing two different ones. Okay, so, oh, here we go. Here's three different bracelets. Now, there, there's definitely a selection of them, right? And there you go. There's a different one, a different one. So what you're doing is by having all those different products on a pin, you have a chance that one or more of them will catch somebody's eye. And the other thing that I really wanted to talk about in reference to doing these category pages is I'm a, um, I'm an Etsy seller, but I'm also a blogger. And I will tell you that some of my pins that are doing the best on Pinterest are like 15, um, listing agent marketing ideas, 12 ways to increase your Facebook group, blah, blah, blah. And as an Etsy seller, we don't want to have to write blog posts and make these big, huge, you know, um, sites outside of all our work on Etsy to sell things. But this is a way that you can get that same kind of feeling for um, having multiple items or having multiple products available for them without having to write large blog posts or do anything like that. It's a way to promote your store in a different way. Can you tell this is the one that I love the most? Okay, so here we go. I did vintage decor because, of course, my stuff is vintage decor. You can look up yours. Just try to find some ones. So I love this. This is kind of a DIYer that they're turning those into. If you ever do projects with your, um, you know, your stuff, you could do that. At, but let's look at, okay, here's, here's one on the top and two on the bottom. I know I passed one over here. Okay, here's four up in kind of a weird layout. Okay, here's how to mix. So this is tall on the top. They're all kind of offset. That seems really weird. Okay, here's one for Target. Sweet. I think we're going to try to copy this one because I think I could do this one. And I always have one, like, really cute one I like. So we're going to try to copy this one from Target. And they don't have any words on it, 
Let's see if we can find one that has words, because I like words. Uh-oh, Wayfair doesn't have words on it either. I'm wondering, I would do two. So I would do two different pins to, to your category page, but I would definitely do one with no words on it because all the big um, sellers are paying good money to do it with no words. So let's go ahead. I'll show you how to do one with no words. So we're going to do, I don't want it to be, um, like I, I think I want it to be, let's look and see what they have. This is a this is taller than a regular size Pinterest pin. I don't know if it's totally twice as tall as the other ones, um, but they're they're showing pins that are taller than the normal Pinterest pin. So we're gonna make ours a little taller. So I'm gonna click in Canva on custom dimensions, and I'm gonna say 750 is a good width, and I'm gonna go not 1500 would be the right double size. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go 1250 for the height. So that's going to be just not quite twice as big as, um, as it is tall. Okay. So now I need these, uh, elements cause they have those cool thingies. And how many do I want to do? I want to do one, two, three. Oh, this is fun. This is side, side, wide, side, side, wide. Okay, let's just get some in here. Uh, they're always side side. Side side. Let's do another side side. Side side. Okay. And then what do I have? Do I have any that would be good wide? That one could be good wide. That one could be good wide. Ooh, let's do side side and wide in the middle. Let's try that. Okay. Boop, boop, boop. I like having their, you know, you kind of mimic that same little space they have. Okay. Now I need to upload five pictures. Upload. Upload an image. Oh. First, I need to download <laughs> some pictures. Okay, so I'm going to get this one. I like this one. I'm going to do save image as on my desktop. And it doesn't matter if I name them because I'm going to use them right away. So that's a pen holder. Let's see what's another cute one. I love this one. I just, I bought the whole lot for this one. Save image as, save. Um, oh, people love these telephones. This is going to be good. Save image as. Plus, it's very graphic. Like, it has high contrast, so it might show up. Oh, people love these guys. I sell a lot of my frogs. And then one last one. Two last ones. We were going to do this one. Okay, let's see how many we have. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Okay, so we're good. So now we're going to go and <laughs> upload an image. And we're going to upload all those ones from my desktop I just got. So one, and I'm hitting the shift key to upload multiples at once. And then I'm going to say, okay. And it's going to bring those in. Okay, so for sure, this little guy... And if you double click on it, we can move it around a little bit. I love how the kitty's in the background of that one. So that one's fun for the top. Let's see. That one's bright. So for me, from a design standpoint, and I've been doing this for a very long time, I tend to like light on the top and dark on the bottom, which makes a human being feel comfortable because things that are heavier feel darker on the bottom. Um, so let's see which one of these I can put in here. Okay, we're going to put that there for right now. I'm not sure. I'm not sure I love it there, but let's try it. Let's try this. That's beautiful down there. But see what I'm saying? And then this one. Oops. Oops. You guys can't see these. Hang on. We're going down. We're going down. Okay. All right. And I'm just double clicking on them. Oh, that one must be square. Okay. Okay. I can. I guess I can live with that. You can see. 
It's a little funky. I would move it over here, right? And then I'm going to move this one over here, and I'm going to move this one over here. And I'm super sad because I don't feel like this one matches the others, right? Um, I need a light one. Darn it. So I can do this Boy Scout medal. Darn it, darn it, darn it. So what I would do is I would try to find things that are equally dark like that. Um, to, to go with that. Okay, so now I need to upload that other light one. Darn it. Because I don't like how that looks. They're all light and bright. It's a very pretty layout. It's um, cool. And now it's even cooler. And you know what? With how this turned out, I feel like I can even just put a little bit of text in here. Because see, I have room where on these bottom ones, it doesn't quite... Like they look good that way. Can this, I can move, I can cheat this one up a little bit. So the, the bar doesn't go over it. I can make this, um, they like dark gray looks just so much better. Ooh, it's gold though. Okay, I'm going to see if we can find a pretty gold color. Always in the way. See, that looks better with my light and bright. I could even do white maybe, but I like that yellow. And then I'm going to do a little piece of text, and I'm going to say vintage desk accessories. Because that's what they are. Factually correct. And then if you wanted to, you could say from glamorously vintage or whatever, um, but I think this is really cool. So now we're going to download this. Download. And I'm going to come up here to this section of my shop. So this is the section. See, it'll say section ID. And I'm going to say copy. And I'm going to go over to Pinterest. And I'm going to say upload a pin, create a pin. I'm going to get my picture I just made. My vintage de desk accessories. Vintage desk accessories. Okay. And then, because I'm vintage desk, right? So I want to see what Pinterest says. Makeover ideas. Okay. So, ideas is a good word. Ideas. Uh, DIY bookcase office. Decor. That's where we started, right? Decor. Uh, wooden shabby chic. Shabby chic? You're not supposed to use shabby chic. It's a, it's a technical term. Writing. I do have an inkwell there, right? Writing. Ooh, I'm going to be able to hit all the big ones. Uh, French school bedroom with hutch metal. So let's see what's in ideas, vintage desk ideas. And see, I feel like this got us to... There's inspiration. I love that. There's awesome. Inspiration. Awesome. Okay. Any other good words? Let's go back because I feel like um, vintage desk ideas got us into desk. Um, let's do decor. Mm, okay, see, that's that's what I want. All kinds of different things. Ashley's got the same kind of look I got going. Um, so office ideas, shabby chic, rustic, do it yourself, antiques, antiques, study, ooh, study, study interior design. Study, interior, design. Okay, so that's plenty for me to write a bit of fluff for this. Um, check out my Etsy. 
shop for amazing, amazing, awesome, awesome. Antique and vintage. I know I spelled it wrong. Don't yell. Antique and vintage ideas and inspiration for your office or study. Ooh, how about library? Library or study. Okay, so ideas, office. I don't have decor. I don't have decor yet, so... Boop. Decor, writing, I have this, I have this, I have this. Okay, so now I have three words left, three, three phrases. Um, I find the cutest accessories to zhuzh, to, what's an adjective for zhuzh, to beautify your decor and interior design. Ink, whoops. Inkwells for writing. Fun frogs to hold your pens and more. Okay, now I need my link, right? So vintage section ID, copy, destination link. I want a couple of hashtags, vintage decor, office, vintage office. You can check. I just want to get it there. Okay, so now I'm going to say this. Do I have office? Uh, vintage office decor. Perfect. We want to put it on the very best pin we can right now. And we're going to say publish. See my pin. I'm going to schedule this out. I use Tailwind. You could use your calendar. There's a whole video about it if you want to use your calendar. Um, so I want to put this on Glamorously Vintage, which is my store board. There I am in the way again. Um, let's see what other offices we have. Uh, all Vintage Office. Look, I have a thing. Vintage Finds, Desk Vintage Decor, Vintage Office Decor I already did, Library Vintage Decor, Artist Supplies and Storage. That's where I put these guys. Great. Fun and Funky Storage Ideas. I don't know that fits right there. Office Organization Dips. And organizing my office are not vintage in my pins. They're more, um, they're just not vintage. So I wouldn't put them there. Okay, and then I'm going to uh, show you how to do this. We got to go down. I'm going to say use interval. I'm going to say optimized. I have to get it to, because it's going to start this month tomorrow but I want to have it wait a week ish before it starts pinning them then I want eight days between I do eight I do ten optimize set interval schedule now and this pin is set to go out for the next month and a half to all my boards that it's relevant on and that took us that didn't take us 20 minutes right um, it would have taken me so much less time, but this is a way that you can uh, promote your vi your your uh, sections. And the nice thing about this is, a lot of times if you sell one of a kind, or even if you're a handmade seller, I had a handmade girl contact me the other day, and she's like, some of my pins go to products I can't source anymore um, that I made. And so she was like, can I change those? Well, we don't really want to change those. We want to pin to places so that when they, um, if somebody sh finds this and shares this and thinks this is a really cool pin and they want to follow my store, then 
um, no matter what I have in here, you know, I will always have frogs because I, I have all these frogs. I have more frogs. Um, so I'll have frogs. I generally have, um, you know, these kind of uh, inkwells that I can do. I don't know if I'd have that phone. I have another one of these that I can list. Um, so especially if you're um, handmade, you can make sure that the sections in your store always have something in that category so that you can share to, uh, so that those incoming links from Pinterest that you've shared are going to remain active. So if you like information about Pinterest and e-commerce and creativity, please make sure to uh, subscribe. And if you like this video and it helped explain how to promote sections of your website, of your uh, Etsy store, please make sure to hit the thumbs up. It means a lot to me. So Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully.